my name is Shane and today we're going to make some broccoli salad slaw or broccoli slaw salad whichever you prefer uh, this is a recipe that I just recently came across and it's actually quite good it's very very easy to make so we'll go over all the ingredients and then uh, then we'll try a little bit I'm, I'm gonna actually throw some uh, apples in at the end some uh, green granny smith apples I've, I haven't tried it that way before um, but the way I have tried it is really good and if you guys like apples, by the way, this is a Chalet Blue. It's a very good beer. I just recently came upon this as well. But um, it's hard to mess up anything with, with green apples. So that's what we're going to try after we make the, the original salad. And then I'll throw some apples in a couple of bites just to see how, how uh, it tastes with that in there. Mm. Good beer. Okay, let's go over the ingredients. The first thing that we want to use is if you go to Wegmans or Gennardi's or Giant or whatever your local grocery store is, you can buy some broccoli slaw. It's already pre-made. It's just, uh, this one is broccoli, carrots, and red cabbage already sliced up. Um, this is a little bit smaller bag than the one that I'm used to, so what I did is I got two of them. So we'll throw both of these in there, and that's gonna be step one. So step one is, actually step one is to get some scissors. Step one will be to throw your pre-made broccoli slaw mix into a large bowl. So, and I let this stuff bag. Actually, you know what? That is quite a bit. You know what? I'm going to stay with just that because that, that that is more than it actually looks like. So we'll stay with that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take uh, two packs of ramen noodles. Now, you can either use beef or chicken. Uh, in my experience, it comes out better if you use beef. And these are raw, by the way. We haven't cooked these, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the little flavor packet out. We're going to save that for later because we are going to use that for the, uh, the salad mix. So all I'm really doing is breaking these up into smaller chunks. And uh, trust me, it's going to come out. You're going to like this. It's good stuff. Then we're going to do both packs of, of this. And again, like I said, you can use chicken if you prefer, but uh, my personal uh, favorite is the uh, the beef. And I'm going to break these up. So, and we'll mix all this up before we put the salad dressing on it, just to get everything good and good and um, crunchy. All right. So those are the raw noodles. So so far we've had broccoli slaw pre-made mix. We've thrown in two packs of the ramen. Uh, beef noodles and we've got the flavor packets here that we're going to use in just a little bit. Next thing we're going to do is throw in one cup of sunflower seeds and I have already opened this up. So we're going to use one cup. i got a half a cup right here so we'll do two of these. So these are just uh, these are just regular sunflower seeds that you can get from from your store right down the street. Throw those in there. So so far so good. So we have uh, broccoli slaw, we have the ramen, we have sunflower seeds, and let's throw some walnuts in here. These are, uh, or, I'm sorry, almonds. Check that, almonds, not walnuts. We're going to throw in a half a cup of the toasted almonds. And we'll see the semi put this in there, so we'll do it. So there you go, half cup, almonds, throw them right in there. And um, we're almost done, actually. So let's see, we've got... Uh, the almonds, we've got the sunflower seeds, the ramen, the slaw, and now we're going to throw in some scallions. I've already cut these up uh, just into um, smaller bits. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, just sliced. And, it's, and it calls for one bunch of scallions. And folks, we're done. That's, uh, that's really the bulk of, of the salad part of it. We're going to bring this all together now, and we're going to make a salad dressing. So... Before I finish making this, uh, actually, this is really good stuff. You'll you'll find it in just a moment. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take those two uh, salad, or I'm sorry, the two ramen flavor packets that we had earlier, and I'm gonna put them in this little bowl here. We're gonna make us a little salad dressing. <laughs> Believe me, when you're not trying to do this on the video, all this stuff opens up the way it's supposed to. All right, there's one. And we'll open up this one a little bit wider. There we go. Two. Now we're going to throw in the two uh, liquid ingredients that we're going to use are just uh, oil and apple cider. So let's see what our directions call for. Calls for one cup of one third cup of cider vinegar oil. Cider vinegar oil. Yep. This is cider vinegar oil. 
a third of a cup. Some recipes that you'll see, they actually call for much more, uh, much more oil and, uh, and cider. But uh, you know what? I prefer just to leave a, a little bit in there just to give it the hint and kind of moisten things up a bit. And then we're going to put a, a quarter cup of oil. Let's see what this number says here. A quarter, that'll work. All right, so put that in there. Mix it up. This will get everything inside just a little bit all uh, lubricated, I guess. All right. We'll mix that up. Let me get something to stick in there and mix it up with. And this is um, the parts that I don't spell out. This is going to actually be really, really nice. So again, what we've done so far is we've used, uh, I used one bag of that broccoli salad, that broccoli saw pre-made uh, mix. And again, you can just find that at your lo local grocery store. We used two uh, broken up raw ramen noodles. We used, uh, we saved the uh, packets and we put them in the sauce. Uh, we used a cup of sunflower seeds. We used uh, one bunch of chopped scallions. And then uh, we used a half of a cup of toasted almonds. And to make this sauce stuff, um, to make the sauce stuff, sorry about that, we used a, a one third cup of apple cider. I'm just gonna, there's a little bit that's in the bottom that didn't quite mix up. Uh, one third cup of apple cider and a quarter cup of the oil Mix that in with these little flavor packets, and um, and we're done. Now, I'll just do it. nobody's watching me, so I can just use my hands. I'll give it to the neighbors. And this is really, really good stuff. I think that you'll very much enjoy this. And there you go. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this myself. That's what it looks like. It's actually better if you leave it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I guess it uh, pulls some of the flavors out. But I'm going to take a little bit in the bowl, and I've already uh, diced up some apple, some green apples. I'm going to put a little bit in the bowl, uh, put some apples in it, mix that up, and then I'll come back and I'll try it later. So that's it. Uh, the broccoli slaw. Again, your ingredients for the slaw itself, the prepackaged uh, slaw from uh, broccoli slaw mix, two top ramen bags you can use beef or chicken uh, we're going to use the flavor packets for the sauce that I've kind of spilled everywhere uh, we're going to use also uh, roasted almonds we're going to use a quarter let me make sure about that we're going to use a, a half a cup of roasted almonds and a full cup of sunflower seeds we're going to mix all that junk together along with some uh, with one bunch of chopped up scallions put that in a bowl mix up a little bit Get the flavor packets from the ramen that we use, throw them in a, in a little uh, bucket or a bowl, put in a third cup of the apple cider oil, uh, vinegar, a quarter cup of your oil, mix all up, pour that stuff in there, shake it up, put it in the fridge for half an hour, you're good to go. So thank you very much. Um, hope you enjoy it and leave us some feedback. Thanks.